Okay, everyone. Uh, sorry for the delay. Some technical issues. Uh, so we'll continue. Uh, so I think last few days you've been uh, discussing about machine learning and deep learning in general. So today we'll focus on robotics and autonomous driving. So before going into like the specific platforms, we are going to see which is uh, which is the uh, robot operating system, which we will uh, we'll go through robot operating system. So before that, we'll just go into uh, like generally what is happening and uh, like uh, you know in general about autonomous driving and things like that. Uh, so like. Definition of an autonomous uh, driving you know, an autonomous car are known as un uncrewed vehicle, driverless self driving cars or robotic cars, vehicles capable of fulfilling the main transportation capabilities of a regular car on its vehicle capable of sensing environment, navigating without human input, assistance, or help. So, like, uh, there is like uh, there, are, there are versions of uh, fully autonomous vehicles available in some parts of the world. But it but like fully autonomous vehicles are not still uh, you know vehicles that are like uh, that that can be that can move in multiple uh, you know terrains and environments are not still not there like still there are like uh, experiments are going on so hundred percent so there are like different levels of so level one level two level three level four like level four is the last one which one uh, where it is fully autonomous and uh, the car can be fully auto you know autonomous and, and there is no need for any driver to be on the seat like right now like if you take uh, platforms like tesla they definitely need to be you know driver there is an autopilot but the, they definitely need to be a driver on board uh, on the driver's seat to take over uh, at any time. So a purely driverless, a purely driverless or self-driving for autonomous car means it should be able to drive itself without any human help. So it should have all the capabilities of a human, like a human, uh, whatever a human can sense, uh, uh, like obstacles or the pathfinding or like predicting certain things or uh, uh, you know take uh, like judging different uh, scenarios like taking a turn or how speed is supposed to go on a particular terrain that type of things you you that that a human can judge and human can do self or herself or themselves in general like so that should be a, a car should be able to do that that's an autonomous people in uh, in a nutshell. So experiments that uh, there have been like uh, if you go into the history, there have been like been experiments have been conducted on autonomous aut automating cars itself, at least 1920s from like promising trials took place in 1950s and has proceeded since then. So a, the first self-sufficient and truly autonomous car appeared in 1980s in Carnegie Mellon University. Now, Nablab and Hale project in 1984. So, and Mercedes Benz and University, Munich, uh, Eureka Prometheus project in 1987. These are the, these are the like old versions of the uh, autonomous driving cars. So, this is a you one uh, Google account. This here, this image you can see here. So, so like advantages, limitations, references like introduction to Google self-driving car is a project uh, by Google that involves developing technology completely for electric cars. Software installed in Google cars is called Google Chauffeur. Project was formally led by Sebastian Trump, formerly director of uh, Stanford Artificial Intelligence Laboratory and coin control Google Street. And then in technology, the project team has equipped a number of different types of cars with the self-driving equipment, including a Toyota, Audi, TT, Toyota, Audi, and uh, you know, Lexus. Google also has developed their own custom uh, vehicle, which is assembled uh, Roche Enterprises. Uses equipment from Bosch and LG. 
Google Robotics Car Hub, about uh, 100,050 in equipment, including 70,000 just for the lab, the LiDAR system. So it's a very cost uh, venture, very uh, you know, costly venture, expensive venture when it comes to like self-driving cars. So lasers, this is like an example of, uh, you know, lasers. like lasers are very important when it comes to deploying. We can, uh, if we talk about uh, self-driving systems, uh, one of the most like popular ones are like uh, Tesla. So Tesla have like, a, uh, have been doing like, uh, they, they have integrated this autopilot system into the cars itself for some time. But it's not fully autonomous, and they're not using any kind of uh, other type of sensors. Mostly, like all these self-driving aut autonomous vehicles are very e equipped with equipped with very uh, you know expensive sensors like radars, or lidars. But Tesla uses just cameras, multiple cameras uh, all around the car, and it uh, it creates a field of vision by fusing all these camera images. But still it's not the